Uh, my name is Ryan Carrington, and my work uh, addresses the shift in public perspective of the uh, roles of blue and white collar workers in America. Um, my intent is to provide a, a conduit of empathy between our, our stratified society uh, by inspiring dialogue across communities of people uh, that represent the corners of our culture, history, and socioeconomic status. Um, I do this in a very interdisciplinary fashion. I believe in, in the idea of medium as message, and that's that the, the idea that the material that something is made out of can enhance the content of the work um, and bring the concept to the forefront of, of the conversation. Uh, I do this through a multitude of, of, of ways and methods. Um, the, the screw relief series, for example, uh, I use screws directly off the shelf from Home Depot and through a very kind of tedious and monotonous fashion that is very similar to, to labor and, you know, doing a lot of what blue collar work is. Um, through that action, I create high fashion um, plaid patterns. And so the Burberry plaid is, you know, I've used 7,000 screws um, to create this high fashion plaid and you know, I'm interested in kind of the juxtaposition between, you know, who's buying those high fashion, you know, Ralph Lauren and Burberry plaids and, um, and, and that end of the class spectrum. And then also, uh, looking at, you know, construction materials and, and what they, um, uh, represent and who uses those. Um, the same is true with the chalk line drawing series. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm using the chalk lines, that a construction worker uses to make straight lines, but I'm actually doing tens of thousands of snaps to create um, these sort of luxury plaid patterns um, on on these pieces of plywood, um, and and kind of using the chalk in the color that it comes from directly off the shelf from Home Depot. The uh, the flag series um, is a series that is made out of high end suits. Um, and neckties and shirts and then um, carpenter's pants and this series uh, has a little more to do with with kind of a, you know a call to action or, or you know unifying and, and um, bringing together the classes of people uh, within America to help us you know kind of solve or, or begin to solve this this problem of the ever widening class structure um, and so by using kind of the uniforms of white collar workers and blue collar workers together in this, this union, um, uh, that represents our, our great country, the symbol that represents our great country, uh, it's my intention to kind of, you know, ask people to kind of reconsider, um, why we're having this split and maybe address some of the issues that could, could bring us back together and, uh, you know, a, a, as a country. Um, the piece Middle Management is uh, a piece that, that is actually about um, the new blue-collar worker in America actually being white-collar middle management um, and, and the shift of that role and, and how, uh, you know, part of what we need to think about when we think about labor and work and, and stuff is, is how that's kind of an ever-evolving ever um situation in, in our country and, and one that we need to kind of consider uh, how we can help everybody, um, you know, get, get along a little better uh, in life. And, um, you know, throughout art history, I think there are a lot of people that I look at that I draw inspiration from, um, one being uh, Mary L. Latterman Euclid and her Touch Sanitation Project. Uh, out of out of New York, where she she shook the hand of every single garbage truck driver in, in New York, um, and honored them and honored their work and their labor and their their efforts. Um, and so I, I I like that work quite a bit. But also, uh, you know, Janine Antoni has um, a lot of influence on me uh, through both you know this idea of her commitment to content, her commitment to performance, um, but also having a, a an object involved. Um, in that, and, and you know, in, in my own practice, I have a commitment to making sure that my performances include, um, you know, handmade, beautiful objects as well, um, and uh, ones that kind of enhance the content uh, behind the performance and behind the work itself.